I think one of the things that are important about this test is we've reached a condition in the United States where you know, we've found out that screening for prostate cancer actually reduces prostate cancer death, but it creates a significant problem of many men needing to get or getting detected with prostate cancer and undergoing interventions and treatments that they probably never needed. So we have a significant issue with overdiagnosis that leads to a significant problem with overtreatment. And a lot of people have tried to find ways that we can focus our energies on identifying those men that are most likely to have aggressive tumors. So we can focus our energy on treating those men and not having the men that are unlikely to have a problem um, you know, undergo all this unnecessary testing. So the idea of the 4K score is basically to try and discriminate between men with aggressive cancers and those with not, not so aggressive cancers, just BPH, so that they can not even have to do the biopsy or all the subsequent sequelae that come after that. You know, there's been a lot of studies looking at the, the the backbone of this test is this four calocrine panel of four proteins. And there's been studies in Europe, multiple studies that have shown that when you add these calocrines to every other predictive clinical model, it improves your ability to predict out those patients with aggressive prostate cancer. It's never been tested prospectively, and it's never been tested in the United States. So this study was a prospective study of a thousand men across the nation at 26 different sites. They all were referred by their urologist for a biopsy. All of them had a blood draw beforehand to look at the levels of these four calocrines. And the 4K score, the way it's currently um, is right now, is the four calocrines plus age plus digital rectal examination findings and whether the patient had a previous biopsy or not. All that information goes into a very well calibrated uh, algorithm and it provides you with your actual percent probability of having a high grade cancer on biopsy should one be performed. And, and what we did is just to see how well it actually performed in real time. It found that the predictions of the 4K score completely overlapped the actual truth in terms of how often we were predicting correctly whether a patient had aggressive cancer or not. The ability to accurately pick out those patients and discriminate between aggressive and non-aggressive forms of cancer were better than any other biomarker we've looked at. And when you actually looked at the clinical utility of this, it was better than other available clinical tools that people use to try and identify patients with worse cancer. If you were to use this in clinical practice, theoretically it looks like it would reduce the amount of biopsies you need to do drastically, therefore saving a lot of men for having to undergo unnecessary testing, but missing only very few significant tumors. I think one of the things that we really need in this field is markers that actually can pick out those aggressive cancers, saving men from unnecessary testing.